Hi, my name is Cy Porter, and this is a creative writing tutorial. And uh, so, what I'd like to talk about today <laughs> is uh, the idea that your story may at <laughs> one time become um, okay. So, you're working on a story, and it may be that to make it explainable to the reader becomes a great obstacle. So, if it deals with a type of fiction that really hasn't been covered a lot, or if it, if um, for any other reason, that as a writer you find yourself really laboring over, like, okay, if I, if I convey this story in a show-not-tell fashion, instead of, like, explaining uh, everything to the reader, which is something that you want to avoid if you're, you know, scene by scene showing the reader the story and feeling like there's a great chance that that it, it may not be clear to the reader what is happening the way it is clear to you. At some point it would be really worth considering not trying to fully convey to the reader what you know is happening, but let the reader do every do what they can to understand what is happening. Thank you for watching this tutorial. It's made so that more people can be told about an illustrated film. Episodes of the film are posted at solomation.com. All episodes will be free, available to watch at solomation.com. If they don't ever get the full explanation, they may still get a great amount of joy out of the story by what they do understand about it and what understanding they do bring to it. So, one thing is that if you become overburdened with trying to explain the story to the reader, at, at, at one point it would be by the like if you went to the trouble of trying to explain the entire story to the reader it would get to a point where it wouldn't be fun or enjoyable anymore it's kind of like you don't want to explain a joke you know you don't want to explain a story that isn't the point of storytelling their their stories you want stories to be like the real world, and the real world really is a mysterious place, and we're so accustomed to that that we don't even, you know, a lot of the times we don't, on a day-to-day -day basis, we don't notice that we're living in the midst of great mystery, because we're, we're so accustomed to it that we kind of forget that we're living in the midst of great mystery. But if your story has a mystery to it, because... The world we live in is not going to stop and explain to us what, what is really happening. So, the story you're telling, you don't want to stop and explain everything to the reader because that, because the more like real life that your story is, the more compelling and enjoyable it will be to the reader. So, there, you do want to be clear as a writer, but also there's a certain point when you want to be comfortable with mystery being in your story. That is, you know certain things about what's happening, and through your story you're trying to show kind of the surface of what's happening by what your characters say and what happens in the scenes and the different things that play out. And the reason you create those scenes and dialogue is to try to get across what you know is happening. And because you, because in a good story you never just, you know, stop the show and say directly to the reader, okay, this is what is happening. Because that doesn't happen, 
feel comfortable with the mystery that will that will that the story will the, the elements of mystery that will become parts of your story. When, if you're working on a scene, you know, and you become confused about how can I do this? How can I convey those underlying realities? Just ask yourself what would happen in that scene? And that'll give you a lot of insight about about where you where you can find the opportunities to convey those underlying fictional realities. So what are some ways you can go about this? Um, for starters, you can, okay, you have your idea. Let's say your idea is that, um, I don't know, something like ghosts live inside every mailbox. So you know this. And then as a writer you ask yourself, okay, let's go ahead and create a scene around that and ask yourself what would happen. With the information as a writer, you know you can be able to create the actions and dialogue of what you would imagine would happen in that scenario. And you want to, this is your opportunity to convey as much as possible about the true reality of your, the true fictional reality of your story without giving it away, without stopping the show and explaining it. And the better you can do that, the better the story will be. And it gets to a point where if the reader doesn't get it, they don't get it. But you as a writer, you were true to the concepts you had that created the scenarios, and your story had substance. It had real working concepts beneath the surface. And so you as a creator fulfilled your part of the, of the bargain. Just because mystery is actually a, a wonderful part of fiction, does not mean that you can give up halfway. It's still very important for you to convey as much as possible what those underlying, underlying fictional realities and concepts are. You know the underlying uh, fictional realities of your story and be willing to work as hard as possible to convey those realities through show not tell through creating actions and dialogues that take place in your story that that hint at and convey the underlying realities. You want to work very hard to to have the actions and the plot and the dialogue of your story conveying as much of those hidden realities as you possibly can and never give up trying to do that even though, in the end, the, uh, there is still the chance that those underlying realities will remain obscure to your audience.